better, especially when we're going to roll it out with this machine. There's a lot of cleaning too. Get really lazy. Blow the center. So pipe it. Pipe your. can see me but oh my god it's so freezing right now it's actually uh zero zero degrees fucking freezing temperature you know oh shit oh, fuck i hate winter ah oh, fuck like even like a couple of weeks ago right even a week ago when i used to go out class at this like time i used to i used to see like sunrises and shit but now it's just pure darkness <sighs> time really does go by so quick it really does for this portion of the video i'll be doing a commentary and walk you guys through what it's like to take a midterm at a culinary school so for midterm, you have to make mayonnaise sauce, hollandaise sauce, 
and served those sauces with broccoli and cauliflower. We also had to make consomme, which is a clear soup. So, when I first come into class, I set up my station. As you can see, I'm getting my knives, tools, and utensils needed for that specific day. And I'm also wearing my apron and hang kitchen towels on it, so that I have access to um, wiping my hands and cleaning stuff. Kitchen towels are very important in a professional kitchen because pots can get extremely hot. So you need kitchen towels not only to hold hot pots and pans, but also to uh, dry your hands after washing hands. My group was in charge of receiving orders too, so we have to pick up orders from storage room as soon as we get to class. And what you're seeing now is the order sheet we have, and I'm just making sure that we get the right stuff. And this is the mayonnaise, this is consomme, um, as you can see. Uh, that white part that floats on top is called a raft, and this is supposed to help with flavor and clarifying the liquid. And on the side you see uh, broccoli, uh, that's my other uh, my friends uh, things and this is cauliflower with um, hollandaise sauce and that's consomme with um, broccoli uh, with uh, hollandaise sauce and you just and you're not supposed to put the sauce on top of cauliflower I just did it because I was uh, just like tasting it and now we came to um, eat lunch at our beautiful dining hall which uh, you uh, which reminds me of Harry Potter and today I got food from the uh, cuisines of America and, it, and also grabbed some desserts made by pastry students um, today's food was actually pretty good um, as you can see it is southern American food so you, we have briskets some fried uh, I think it's onions I, I don't know um, and some like fried rice balls and fried rice and uh, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Breaking into German beards now? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you know what next is? Hmm? You know what next is with business ideas? What? Brazilian waxing. For Bononis. Boy, I can't go get one from y'all. No. It's so hurtful, man. Got any people willing to let you practice on them? <laughs> oh, maybe her. <laughs> yeah, she'd like that. Anytime anyone's rude to me, they can get so What? His face lights up. What are you talking about? I said, I'm be allergic to horseshoes, but not sure. Because I've always been scared of eating them. <laughs> Take a gamble every time you eat one. Oh, shit. You take a gamble every time you eat one. Oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. There's like no efficient way to clean that. Is yeah, that no, marshmallow? No, it's like fucking uh, toothpaste. Oh. It tastes so like this. toothpaste? Yeah, it's got this. It's like green chocolate. <clears throat> but too much mint? You don't want it. This is I mean, good too. I don't like mint chocolate. You want it? Yeah, sure. I hate mint chocolate. This looks good. This doesn't taste like toothpaste. No? No. I mean a little bit. I like that though. It could be that. But that point my feet are really tired. Hey, is waiting in line at the Cat's Deli worth it? No? I've heard it's very overrated. It is overrated. Yeah, it's highly expensive food. You eat seafood. Go to restaurant dollars. The actual restaurant. That's kind of overpriced though. It's very close to cat food. But it's really good. So she trained, like she never went to culinary school, but she trained under, she trained under Thomas Keller. Um, she owns, so she owns Bouvet. Her partner owns this place called um, East Sodi. East like and then they the both own this place called Via Corona together and a bar called Bar Pistolino. Hello. Okay. 
Pick up a lady one. Following two beats, pick up a truffle soup and scargo. Lady one.